Come on in, please. Frank Loveridge, uh, he's joining us now. He is the former head of the presidential protective detail for the Secret Service. Frank, welcome to the program. Good to have you with us. Um, it's hard to believe that Trump didn't have regular Secret Service protection. I mean, where's, can you believe this? So, um, just so you know, so thank you, thank you, Stu, for having me on the the, uh, the program. But I just wanted to go over that real quick because we use local law enforcement in all of our advances. The first thing we do when we enter is we have a police meeting and we marry up our assets with local law enforcement assets. Um, on top of that, we have leaned on HSI, uh, Homeland Security Investigations, to help us with some post dating opportunities when we are stressed thin. We just we're in the process of a national. We just finished up a national special security event with the RNC which is a manpower drain. Um, we had several protectees in Pennsylvania. No excuses whatsoever, because the responsibility of the protection of the former president of the United States and the president of the United States is on the Secret Service. And you can't delegate that accountability. So with that being said, some critical problems occurred uh, when you start using other assets to do these types of missions. And that is training. Uh, are you trained together? Are you aware of each other's tactics? Um, do you know the rules of engagement? Um, and communications seem to be a problem area okay. um, during this okay. uh, this entire uh, event. If you know well, that the, we I, had an individual so Frank, that was just, spotted. I, I, look, Frank, it just came as a surprise to us to learn that maybe they were not all specifically trained special uh, secret service op, uh, agents. And secondly, there may not have been enough of them. Was, was Trump shortchanged on security? So, Stuart, what you have to do is you have to pull the site post assignment logs, look at all the assignments, where they were, what their instructions were. And then from that point on, you also have to look at the Special Operations Division Tactical Survey and find out where the special assets were set, where they were, and where they were placed. After you do that, you can then make that assessment of whether we had adequate protection on, at that event. Well, have we not had time to do that? I mean, it was a week ago. Oh, absolutely. Well, I am 100% uh, confident having worked in inspection division and working uh, these types of events, mission inquiry events, um, yeah, this has already been done. And now the assessment is being made and then the determinations need to be made. And I think that needs to be one of the conversations we have with the director. You don't sound very critical of the uh, Secret Service. Well, it was my life for 23 years. Um, I, I just want to make sure that we do a thorough investigation and we find out exactly what went wrong. I know there was a communication was an issue. Um, a building 130 yards away. Was it properly secured? Was okay. there proper assets? Yes, I know we've got to, to find out, out all of this, but you know, it's almost a week since it happened. I would have thought we would have found out the stuff that you need uh, by now, and we haven't. In fact, they're trying to spread it out some more. Frank, I'm sorry I'm out of time, but Frank Loveridge, thanks very much for joining us this morning. It's appreciated. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stuart, for having me on.